All right, since Arion gave up on his AK-47 modeling series, I decided to take over. So today we're gonna to be modeling this AK-47, or to be more precise, we're gonna modeling this uh, rear grip. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's add a plane and just move these vertices somewhere like this. Okay, we're gonna make this part first, not the beveled parts. We're gonna do that a little bit later. Extrude, move the vertice, just like that. Now extrude this, okay. Now extrude it, move this vertice, Let's slide this a little bit. You're gonna select this edge, extrude it, oh, extrude it, and take these two vertices and just make them, just move them like this, okay? Let's see where you get this low poly part. So now you're gonna add a supporting loop cut over here in the middle. You're gonna select these faces. You're gonna extrude it like this. Select these parts, extrude it, connect these. Um, move these vertices a little bit, okay? Take this, extrude it, connect these two edges. Just like that, move this a little bit over here. Now you put, a, you put your 3D cursor over here. You select 3D cursor as your pivot point, select all these faces and scale them by Z axis on zero. You're gonna extrude this all the way up, okay? Just all the way up. I know there is this gap over here, but just gonna scale this all the way up. You're gonna move these vertices a little bit down so we get space for this. We're gonna select our knife tool, press C for uh, cut through, Select it somewhere here, select here, cut, we're done. Now, same part from here, C, cut it, boom. And delete these faces over here. Now we're gonna uh, extrude this, okay? We're gonna make it thick, so I have a reference over here. So I'm just gonna extrude it somewhere like this. You can see that it's a little bit in, a little bit thinner than the receiver, so we're gonna uh, make that, so. Yeah, my blender just lagged, okay. Just delete these faces over here. Uh, apply a modifier, just like that, and add a subdivision surface. Now we're gonna start adjusting this shape. Now you can see that uh, this part and this part is flat. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so once you've added the bevels, move some vertices, okay. Move some vertices, slide them so it, this back part looks a little bit rounder. Okay, so once you've done, just apply the subdivision surface and apply the mirror modifier. And now, since we've made a cut over here, this, I'm gonna select these and just gonna bevel them with one segment, just slightly. Uh, extrude and shift, extrude and scale it down. Now make sure your pivot point is medium point. Okay, just scale it down just like that and apply auto smooth and just crank it up a little bit till it gets good. Okay. So you're basically done modeling. Now we're gonna texture this thing. So you're just gonna head on to uh, edit mode. You're gonna select all the faces that represent this metal color part. So, okay, now I'm gonna add a material over here I'm gonna name it uh, Rear Grip Metal. Okay, I'm gonna assign it to this. Now, Control I to invert my selection. Add a material called uh, Rear Grip Wood. And also, I'm gonna add a, yeah, I'm gonna assign this. Also, I'm gonna add another material, call it UV Test. I'm gonna apply this to, it's now applied to everything, I guess. So let's just head on to UV test and uh, add an image, text, image texture. And click new and UV test, 32-bit uh, float, UV grid. Now I'm gonna assign it to everything. Okay, so now we're gonna start unwrapping the model. Now you can see that this is pretty messed up, but uh, once you've once you've had some seams and stuff, it's gonna be good. So first, I'm gonna add a loop cut over here. Okay, 
and I'm going to uh, select these edges over here to create a seam on this side mark a seam okay now you're gonna also mark a seam over here so select this edge over here mark uh, mark seam now if you unwrap it you can see that this hand grip is pretty well unwrapped okay and now for this upper part just add a add a seam on this uh, edge mark seam and add some seams on here mark seam and you can remove these seams over here like that clear seam now if you unwrap it you can see that it's unwrapped pretty well i would say this looks pretty good all right and once you've marked all your seams you're gonna reassign once you've reassigned all the materials uh rear grip boot assign rear grip metal and the metal assign okay so now if i select this it selects it all okay and like this okay so now i'm gonna export it as an fbx to import it into substance painter just like that you're gonna open substance painter you're gonna hit select your model uh normal map form to open gl and hit okay this is my failed project don't don't watch it okay once it's opened hit bake mesh maps select 2k or whatever you want select all the maps that you need i need all these i'm just gonna bake it once you're done if you see any artifacts or stuff it means that you failed in blender and, and that you need some geometry stuff mostly so you're just gonna head on back to blender and just redo it but it looks good to me so yeah you're just gonna hit this materials tab search for wood and add a wood material over here uh now this is a seam as you can see so it's pretty visible over there but yeah it's not visible over here so we're good now what you're gonna do i'm gonna change the wood color first so i head on to properties wood color and make it a little bit darker you know something that reminds me more of the ak okay this looks good i don't quite like this part but whatever it's the unwrapping thing so yeah i'm also not very good at unwrapping so i'm very sorry if i make any dumb mistakes so don't judge it okay so once you've done with your wood material i think this is good this doesn't need any other tweaks you're gonna head on and make the iron so you're gonna search for iron and gonna uh select whatever looks good to you this looks good to me so i'm just gonna apply it over here i'm gonna change the metal color to something a little bit darker so something like this maybe should be good so this is good okay and now you're gonna search for rust so this looks good okay you're gonna import it i'm gonna put it over the iron i'm gonna create a black mask to it gonna head on to masks and gonna search for something that uh looks similar to like uh, rust and stuff okay so I think this is pretty good so you're just gonna select it and drag it over here you just can see we get these good edges over here now we're gonna change the rust color to something gray so it's visible that global balance you can increase that a little bit so we get so it's more visible but not that much contrast you can change that i might as well change the roughness of the iron a little bit down maybe like this and once you're done texturing just head on to file export textures select whatever you want it to to be i've created a folder already for my textures so you're just gonna put it in there okay gonna hit export you get your textures over here yeah now what you're gonna do, you're just gonna head on to, back to Blender. Okay, you're gonna go to Shading tab, Material Preview. Let me change the HDRI to something more suitable. Select the wood and activate your Note Wrangler real quick in the Add-ons tab right here. And now if you press uh, Principal BSDF Control Shift T, you're gonna select Desktop 
AK-47 textures weird grip and you're gonna choose choose the wood materials only apply it and just like that it's on your model without any stuff now metal you're gonna do the same thing you're just gonna select all the metal stuff and that is it that is literally it okay you don't need to do anything else so if you enjoyed the video if you learned anything new or if you want me to learn anything new just write it in the comments i'm reading every every single one and i hope you enjoy this because i'm gonna be making this series all the way to the end unlike orion no offense okay <laughs> i'm just gonna be making this to the end so i hope you just enjoy this series and yeah have a nice day